Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're doing my September monthly spread. So this is basically going to be the pre-planning for the month. I also wanted to kind of include my goals for the month. I have a separate video on that for this month, but I do want to show you real quick what I have planned for September. So this is my Moxie Life goal planner and I use the goal planning sections in here and I just love it and I will leave a link to the video where I just talked about transitioning from August to September. I will leave that link in the description for you and also up over here. So here are my monthly goals for September. There are eight categories and I have tried to put at least three things in each category. And I really wanted to focus this month on really like fine tuning some routines and resting when necessary and kind of buckling down on some health things. So that is kind of the thread throughout all of these goals. Um, I'm really looking forward to September because August was a really good month and I feel like I have some momentum in a lot of areas. So these are my monthly goals. And then I also have my first week's um, weekly action items finished up as well. So I use these when I build my weekly spreads and I really love the process of, you know, finishing up one month with the monthly reflections and then starting fresh with the next month and then starting fresh every week. So that um, video is, shows you everything, but these are all of the things I have planned for the month of September. So here's the kit that I'm going to be using. It is from Nikki Plus 3. I thought this was just really pretty and kind of um, early fall is what it felt like. And I really like the florals. I have seen these florals in lots of different kits and I'm just always drawn to them. I think they're pretty and the, the yellow is so sunny and bright that I just thought it was really fun with the peach and the green. So here is the first page here with all of the foil. Then we've got a bunch of boxes on this page and then some vacation strips, which I will be using for the first time in forever. And then we've got some more covers here. And then there's some flags and little bits in here. And then it also came with these three things. So this goes down over here not down, up over here. And then we've got the numbers, which are little dots, and then some foiled icons here on the peach paper. And then this page has all the holidays and the days of the week. So you could really just um, do whatever start that you wanted to. So I'm like a Sunday start on my monthlies, but a lot of people like a Monday start. So you could definitely do that if you wanted to. And then there's just some pretty scripts here. So that's what I'm going to be working with. Um, I have my pre-planning all done in my plum paper. So I've got this all ready with my notes and I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to lay down the base of this kit and then we will jump into the day-to-day -day plans.
All right, so here is the base all finished up and we are ready to jump into the plans. So first thing I wanna put down is my trip to go visit my family. So I'm gonna go to go see my parents and my middle sister. So I'm leaving on Friday the 4th and they live down in Midland, Texas. And I haven't seen any of my family. Well, I saw my sister back in March. That was the last time I saw her and my nephew and my brother-in-law. And then it's been since Christmas since I've seen my parents and my middle sister. So it has been really hard to not like see them because I usually see them at least sometime over the summer and we usually do like a fall trip where everybody comes and visits me and I don't know if we're going to get to do that this year. We usually do it in October. So this seemed like a really good chance to at least see some of my family. So let me find, okay, I kind of set aside some stuff that I wanted to use for this plan with me. So I'm gonna have that open. Okay, so I'm leaving the fourth. I'm taking half day, taking a half day at work. So I think I will put in this little star to mark that. And then I'll mark in me actually driving. Ah, okay. All right. So this is gonna be a half day for me. So I'm gonna leave it noon and then head down south. So I wanna do like a little, there's a little car on here that I can definitely use. And then I have another one that I can use as well for the way back. Okay, so there's that. And then I wanna mark like family weekend in here. So maybe the green. I really like the pops of green in this. It's really pretty. So this is weekend. So we have zero plans to leave the house. We're just going to spend time with each other and just, I'm sure, have lots of great conversations and just catch up with each other. On Saturday, we actually have something kind of fun planned. So we're going to um, have a little family Zoom with my other sister and my grandparents and we're going to do a little a little AMA with my grandparents. So it's going to be fun. We're going to ask them just a bunch of questions that we've never thought to ask and we're going to um record it so that the rest of the family can see it. All right, so that is scheduled for Saturday and then um this is my grandmother's birthday on the 6th. So I have a cute little grandmother sticker here and I'm going to pull in this little happy birthday sticker. There we go. And then I'm driving home on this day on Monday, uh, which is actually Labor Day. So let me put in Labor Day. Okay, and then I'll just do this little car right there. So it's about three and a half days that I'll get to spend with my parents and my sister. So I think it's going to be really good. And then on this day, I have the, I took the day off. So I'm going to take this day off sticker. I just wanted to have a little time to like get back into like real life and do some laundry and some filming and editing and all kinds of stuff. So I took the day off on Monday and I think that's all I want to mark there. Okay, so I don't have anything else until the 12th. And I just want to make a little note here that I want to color my hair. I think I'll just use like a little label or something. There's so much yellow that I feel like I need to use the other colors. But then there's also lots of peach. So, um, what are these down here? Oh, little, oh, that's cute. Okay. So let's use one of those guys and then this. Okay. And then the 13th is grandparents day. So there is a sticker for that. And I also have 
this cute once more with love little grandparents sticker my grandparents do not look like this they're actually super active they're in their 80s so my grandmother's 83 and my granddad is 86 i believe and um they're very very active they still play tennis multiple times a week and actually my grandmother just had a knee replacement because she plays so much tennis so they're like super healthy and active which is awesome and I'm so grateful to have them in my life still and I'm 36 and that's awesome um, I lost my other set of grandparents a while back and I miss them every day okay so on the 15th this is payday so I definitely want to mark that I think I want to do a little bit of layering here. So let's take this payday sticker and then let's also take this little dollar sign and just do a little bit of that. That's cute. Okay. And then on the sixth, no, 17th, I have a stitch fix coming. And we'll take this one. I'm really loving Stitch Fix. I hate clothes shopping. So if I can like have it delivered to my house and let me try it on, I just love it. So I've got the um, style pass, so I don't pay a styling fee. And it's just super nice. Um, I've had a couple of just totally terrible boxes, but my most recent one was amazing and I bought the whole box. So. I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to find some more things because I do, I feel like a grown up now and I feel like I need to invest in my clothes. So I love Stitch Fix. Um, and then the 18th is my best friend's birthday. So I've got this little, um, this little sticker here. I just realized that I pulled this adorable sticker for the weekend. I'm gonna put this here cause I think this is so cute. And there will be four of us, and we are going to be eating quite a bit, so that'll be cute. Okay, so two things I want to put on the 18th, and my friend's birthday is probably the most important. Let's do this one right here. I guess I'll put it down. Let me do it here. And that little sticker there for her birthday. This is also the end of the grading period, which is the six weeks. So I'm gonna put a little clock here. We turn in our grades and start fresh on Monday. The school year so far has been really good. It is not perfect. It's not even like super, super great. It's just like, it's good. Considering everything, we've had a pretty good start. So I'm very, very grateful for that. All right, the 21st, I want to mark maybe just the same way or maybe just a bow for the second six weeks starting. There we go. And then um, on the 21st, this is also another payday. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did a minute ago and just do a little bit of layering. And then the 22nd is exciting because it's the first day of fall and fall is my favorite. So we have this Autumn Begins sticker. And I have this cute sticker from the Crafty Banana. It's adorable. And I love the whole sheet of these. So I think I will put this maybe like this. And then we're going to put this little guy like underneath. Kind of takes up the whole box, but maybe like this. No, I don't know why I'm being so indecisive. Let's put it just right beside it like that. Oh, that's so cute. I can't wait for fall. It's just the best. And then um, on the 27th, I want to set aside some time to work on my October goals and my September reflections. So I think I will do this box here just because I love this green. 
and I think it's really pretty. And why not use one of these boxes? And I have this little um, little tiered tray sticker from Sweet Bean Plans. And I'm just gonna put a note here to work on my September reflections and October goals. I am going to start filming those. So I did a special project with Moxie Life for um, September. It actually came out on the 31st of August and it was really a fun project to do with them and it kind of like gave me some inspiration to go ahead and just do that every month and share ending one month and starting a new one. So I'm excited for that. And then that's pretty much it for this month. I don't have anything else going on. Um, I do have this little pack sticker that I maybe want to put in here for packing for the weekend. And I think I will just use one of these labels and maybe put it up a little bit higher. All right. So I think that is everything for my plans. This is the first month where I actually have some real plans going on. Um, the last couple of months have been pretty sparse. They always fill up. Here is my August monthly. This is Shop Jessica Hearts. The video is up for this if you would like to go and check it out. But this is how August turned out and it's just adorable. And I'm excited for this super like bright and sunny spread for September. It's just really, really pretty. I like all the foil too. It's going to be fun to look at at the end. I haven't picked out any washi to use, but I'm sure I will find some gold foiled washi to go with this. It's just so pretty. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this plan with me and a peek inside of my goals for September. And like I said, I will go ahead and do a separate video for October, but um, this September video is already up if you want to go check that out. So I hope that you guys loved this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time.